Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. You Good all bitch ass hoes. everyone. Looks like today is going to be another mm. perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. Okay. I slowly and awkwardly set up on so my bed. Do me a favor, Gabe. And realized. Hmm? Don't go immediately to the um, restaurant. I need you to look for Mahiru. That's fine. So I set up and awkwardly. I slowly and awkwardly set up on my bed and realized that this is a new episode of Rumpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Hey guys, welcome back. We uh, had some awkward times trying to get some water yesterday, but we did it and we hung out with two different people. Because Nagito just episode, fucking disappeared. Yeah, it's almost like, uh, he's the traitor. I don't even know. Both my head and my body felt heavy, but it was still an improvement compared to last night. We all said we'd meet at the restaurant. Real quick while I'm thinking about it. Only 274 steps. The fuck were you yesterday? Also, we're still at stomach height. Yeah. It's just so we can be a perfect dick sucking height. Who do you want to hang out with? We need to talk to my room. We're not hanging out, we're just talking to her. Hey. You're a bitch! Okay. Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, good morning. Aww. Jeez, what's with the sullen face? Hmm. Well, I guess I'm not one to talk. I couldn't really sleep last night. I had a lot on my mind, and I don't know if I'll ever get the answers I'm looking for. Aww. Man, just for kicks I should... prepare some yummy desserts and tea and invite some people to come chat with me. Ah, just so you know, it's gonna be a girls only gathering. Don't expect the boys to be invited. Sounds like an excuse for some girl talk. What do girls even talk about? I guess the guys will never know. Hmm. Mm. But I don't know how to make desserts. Is there, like, a recipe book around here? Recipes, huh? That reminds me, I have this magazine with me that has an article in it about beginner dessert recipes. Huh? Really? Hey, hey! Hey, can you show it to me? I'll invite you if you do. Should I do? Yeah. Thank you. Awesome! I'm saved! Hmm. I guess I should change my evaluation of you a little. C rank it is. From unreliable Hajime okay. to sometimes helpful Hajime. Uh, Not ex really thrilled about that. Then come to the restaurant after breakfast, okay? She, she sure does like to boss guys around. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. <gasps> what is it? I just said good morning. Why is she so shocked? <laughs> My first time greeting someone and I was actually greeted back. I'm so happy. Um, could you do it one more time? Uh, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so oh. fucking cute. Tough life if she had oh. Super. Uh, hate that. You walk in the wall, it just pushes you to one side. Okay. There. Meow. Good nom nom nom. What? Yes. I thought up a greeting for when we all eat breakfast together. It's a revolutionary new phrase that com combines good morning and nom 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 at the same time. <laughs> this is definitely the new hip thing to say. In fact, I'll make sure it's the new hip thing to say. Yeah. Good nom nom nomming. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go tell everyone. Even if she makes it popular, it'll still be limited to this island. 
Good morning, Chianki. Hey. Good morning. What was that pause for? Well, I'm in the middle of doing combo strings and I couldn't really reply. Doing what? Mm, I guess it's almost time. I'll go to the restaurant then. Did I interrupt something she was doing? Several people were already at the restaurant. But nobody was talking. Not a single word. While they sat there, the people who were late began to arrive as well. I've made you wait. Is everyone here? Huh? Hmm? It seems Vihiko's not here yet. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Maybe he already got killed. Yeah, dead bodies already? No. Do not go killing people off. I saw him outside earlier. However, he told me he would not be joining us this morning. <laughs> Why does he have to act like a lone wolf at a time like this? Maybe. Could he be thinking. Is he thinking of a plan to kill somebody by himself? You must not! Kazuichi, you should not doubt your friend. Hey, hey, hey! Well, he's the Yakuza, isn't he? Do you understand what that means? He's part of the Japanese Mafia. Hmm. I presume he's the kind of person who would not come even if we summoned That's him. That's fine. I guess it can't be helped. We should just talk amongst ourselves. Someone can fill him in later. Talk? What are we going to talk about? Rejoice. I've decided to throw a party tonight. Huh? A party? That's right. A huge party that will last from sundown to sunrise. What the? Party till the sun comes up? This is your leader's Just so we're clear, I will not allow any absences. Your attendance at this party is absolutely mandatory. Huh? Hey, now's not the time to talk about stuff like partying. <laughs> On the contrary, there's no better time than this. Hmm, but still, we really shouldn't be partying. Wait! Um, hold on. I agree with Byakuya, it doesn't do us any good to stay bummed out like this. In fact, because of the situation we're in, it's probably best if we can strengthen our friendships with one another. <laughs> That's what you thought too, right? That's why you want to throw a party. Hmm. It doesn't matter why I'm doing it. Anyway, it is of vital importance that we all stay in one place tonight. Fiend. You say that with such significance. It's all clear now. It's decided. We're having ourselves a party. But even so... I'm not sure it needs to last all night. Stop talking. If I thought that, I would have made that clear from the beginning. I'm terribly sorry. I'm so, so sorry for trying to meddle with your plan. I see. It's important to be flexible in situations like this. Perhaps a diversion from all this is just what we need. Yahoo! Then let's party hard. Ah, in that case, I'll put my amazing cooking skills on display for you guys. Mm. Where's this party gonna be held? Would this restaurant be okay? Hmm. No, this won't do. We need a location that's impervious to interference from outsiders. A place even Monokuma cannot enter. What we need is an enclosed space. Um, an enclosed space? How pitiful. If the restaurant won't do, then neither will the lobby. That's not nearly enclosed enough. Nor will the cottages with so many people. We would all be pressed up against each other. And if you want to be pressed up against each other, then a cottage is just clearly the best choice. Pressing up against ladies without sneaking aboard the women only train in drag, I feel so lucky. There's something wrong with you. I can't believe how comfortable you are with saying your perverted thoughts out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I may be a pervert, but I'm the kind of pervert everybody likes. <laughs> Your confidence is seriously, is seriously impressive. Yeah, he's definitely better than Mineta. Hey. Then how about the old looking building near this hotel? Huh? That run down place? You're right. Yeah, but if we do our best to clean it, I think it'd be perfect. Plus, it's basically the only place that meets your needs for an enclosed space, right? However. Indeed. However, Monami has forbidden us from entering that old place. 
As I recall, it's in the middle of being renovated. I have heard your conversation! Heard it all with my very own ears! Ahem, I have good ears, cause I'm a rabbit! I see. Oh, so you use your ears. That's strange. Huh? Hmm. Then what is the reason for the surveillance cameras? Are they for Monokuma's eyes only? Ah, she looks so disappointed. That's fine. What is of no concern? We can settle that issue another time. Regarding that old building, you came to tell us something about it, right? Yes! If it strengthens everyone's bonds with each other, then I will not hesitate to cooperate! So in that it. case, I will allow you to enter the old building. I'll cooperate so we can all party together! <laughs> together? That's not gonna happen, because you're so disgusting! Do yourself a favor and stay away from mirrors. You'll be grossed out by what you see. Fuck off. Oh, your kind words make me want to cry. Um, so we're all good with the old building? And? Then what about the preparations? If it's in the middle of a renovation, don't we need to clean it first? I have never done the dirty work known as cleaning before. I am excited to finally experience it. Hey, hey, hey! No way, there's no way we can dirty our dear princess's hands! Aww. Yeah, I don't want to do it either! Jeez! What? Nobody's gonna do it? Hey. In that case, why don't we decide by random drawing? Okay, you're a cheater! Dude! Not fair! <laughs> random drawing? Actually, Wait, what? To be honest, I already prepared drawing and I assumed everyone would. To be honest, I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. He's a cheater. He's the ultimate lucky student. <laughs> I mean, that's not ch intentionally <laughs> cheating. It's just passively cheating. To go to the trouble of preparing this, just what did you think would happen? See? Whoever draws the chopstick with the red mark in it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? Judgment. Well, then let us entrust our destiny to the whims of this drawing. Alright. Well, no hard feelings. One by one, everyone took turns pulling the chopsticks, and Nagito held in his hand. And when it was all said and done... What? I thought so. <laughs> I really, really thought that would backfire on him. Lol. Uh, if there's one thing I learned from Nagito, it's that luck is a double-edged sword, also from my daily life. <laughs> For someone called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. Wow. I guess it can't be helped. All right. Well, it's just cleaning. Leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. <laughs> I thought so. You seem like you'd make a good stay-at-home dad. <laughs> Do not call him daddy. I'll daddy. give it as compliment. Okay. I hate you. I'll handle the cooking. All right. First, I need to prepare my ingredients, and I'll start cooking at the old building. There's no mistaking it. I tear to Hanamara will go all out. I'll prepare the world's tastiest dishes for you all. Then. Then I just need to pass along the park. Wrong person. Then I just need to pass along the party details to Fihiko. Let's go about our business then. After Monokuma's nightly announcement, we'll meet at the old building. After everyone left, I decided to go back to the cottage. My hero did tell me to go to the restaurant. If I show up late, I'm pretty sure she'll just yell at me, so I better get there soon. Does this affect affect affection at all, or is this just cool scenes? Just cool scenes, I think. It looks like no one's here yet. Am I too early? Yeah! Huh? Oh, it's just you, Monami. Why did you shout like that? Because why is Hajime here? That's a big no-no! This is a girls-only gathering! No boys allowed! I know, but my hero asked me to come. What happened? Huh? Why is Hajime here? Um... I heard this was for girls only. My hero asked me to bring her to the, the dessert recipe. Mm. Oh, that's why. Then you're a special participant. Like... Oh, why is Monami here too? Um, Chiaki invited me? Yep. Yep, that's right, I invited her. 
Why? The snacks will taste gross if that thing hangs around. They'll taste worse if you're here. <gasps> Shock, just from me being here? But all the girls are making desserts, right? Oh, that's right. Monami is sort of a girl, too. Even though it's a stuffed animal? Aww. Oh, well. At this point, it'd be mean to kick her out. Plus, I've already made an exception for Hajime to be here anyway. She's putting Monami and me on the same level. All right, let's start. Yahoo! I'm going to kick it into overdrive. I do not believe you need to be so energetic when it comes to cooking. Look at them! Look at the cuties! Even Hyoko looks cute! How did you do that? I adore all of this. Yes. Especially her just fucking making a sculpture for herself. Yeah. How did you do this? Definitely wouldn't work. It would turn horrible when you try to bake it, but still really neat. I'll do my best. I'll try to live up to your expectations so you don't hate me. No, I mean, I'm just trying to lighten up a bit. My femininity is hello, hello boss. boss. <laughs> That's a lot of people talk about all the time. Sonia. You're precious, and I adore you. This sort of activity, it's not so bad once in a while. Aww. It's not bad, yes. but ideally it'd be more bowl-shaped. Ibuki, what is that? What are you making? For many years now, Ibuki has always dreamed of making a cookie statue of her boobs. Uh, throw the dream away right now. I don't even want to look at it. Oh, my Kane is just mindlessly eating all the desserts being made. It's better if I just keep my mouth shut. I want to try eating it. You are. That you mean the one on this page? Yeah. Yes. Damn right. That looks totally delicious. It looks like a simple recipe, so we should all try to make that too. Hey, at this rate, want to take all day just for the prep work? After taking part of this mysterious female ritual, I went back to my cottage for the time being. Mostly because after I helped with the prep work, they kicked me out. I know it was girls only, but to think they even let Monami stay, it makes me want to cry. I mean... You helped out, so you got included. There's still some time left before the party. There's no way I can spend it staring into space and writing my room. Well, free time. Yeah. Should we go hide with Nagi again? Yeah. If we can fucking Nagito? find him. Um, he's probably in the old at the building. Beach. Oh yeah. Maybe at the Good beach because he's not there. Story-wise, he should be at the old building. Alright, he's MIA again, so I guess hang out with somebody else. What the hell? Nagito? Maybe because story wise we might not be able to hang out with him right now because he's cleaning. Maybe maybe it just doesn't mean that he's not around, maybe it just means he's not around to be hung out with. Hello there. There he is. Oh, Hajime. Sorry. I'm sorry, you came all this way and I have to ask you to leave. I'm just so busy cleaning right now. Bye now. I'll definitely finish before the party, so I'll see you tonight. So it might have been that if we'd gone to his room yesterday, we may have found him in there. Mm -hmm. And he would have said that he couldn't hang I'm out. Hang on, Mikan, she's right there. Yeah, you're right. I was actually about to go to the map. I have Mikan Wait. radar. So close, less than 200 steps. Have business with me? It's 
So, I mean, you probably just want to give her the opposite of what you gave her last time. I think you gave her ramen last time. So just give her the water this time. Is yep. it okay if we spend time together? You're not being punished for something, are you? I'm being punished for thinking you're fucking cute. <sighs> Looks like Mikai grew a little closer. Definitely. This is bad if this silence goes on any longer. Um, d did I do something wrong again? Seriously, you didn't do anything wrong. I already told you that I just want to talk to you normally. I see. I'm glad. Um, if you would like to talk, I don't really know what everyone likes yet. Well, um, there might be lots of things I'm not good at doing, but I'll do anything, so please let me know. Do anything? Of course! I'll do anything! Anything. All the jokes. Anything. Hey, I don't think you should say something like that so freely. Uh, why? I mean, before we arrived here, everyone else didn't seem to mind. For fun, I tried eating strange bugs, and I let them use my body when there wasn't anything else to write on. Also, I had to be responsible for debts and be the target for dark games, so... <laughs> I'm pretty useful, you know? Can I give her a hug? You sweet summer child. Can I press F to hug? Press F to hug. Hey, that doesn't sound like a joke at all. How can you be smiling when you're forced to do stuff like that? Do you actually enjoy it? Obviously, I don't want to do that stuff at all. But if it makes everyone not hate me and smile at me, then it's much better. <laughs> For some reason, I feel this profound concern. The concern. Why is she like this? Um, um Hajime. Would you like to try it out too? <laughs> Do doodling is very fun. Please draw on me wherever you like. I'd rather paint. Um, also, I'm good at pretending to be a pig. Wink wink, motherfucker. I'll do it. I'll do it right now. No. Just, please don't look at me like that. Uh, sorry. For now, let's tr I'll talk again later. You need to calm down. You need to calm down. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I'll make sure to get it right. I'll make sure I get it right the next time. So please talk to me again. I beg of you. Sure, I promise. So I'll see you later, right? Yes, I'll be waiting. Forever. It's like it ran away or something, but I should definitely try to talk to her properly next time around. Oh, uh, Hajime, come on. Don't be a fucking wimp. I returned to my room, but I felt like Mikai was still watching me from somewhere forever. That's funny. It always feels like Somebody's, somebody's watching stalking me. me. We can go hang out again. You wanna go find Mikan again? Mikan, you're on the outside ring. Let's have fun. And hopefully level up do our we pet. have... Uh, do we have a gift for her? Oh, shit. Um, uh, probably. Yeah. Um... Yeah, we do. Uh, you're sure? Yeah, because her next gift is the apron dress that we got two of, back to back. So. Oh, right. Apron dress. I thought it was made of it. Yeah. It is, yeah. Check on your pet real quick. I just want to see how many steps it has left. Okay. One trip around the island. Hello, waifu. Um, I'm a little hungry. 
But if I eat now, I'll be too full to eat the party dishes. I'm a Invite little me come to hang out. <laughs> short and stout. Then, would you like to have tea together? It'll take our minds off being hungry. I spent time today drinking tea with me. Didn't y'all just stalls. have like a fuck ton of desserts? Like 20 minutes ago? Yep. Yep. It looks like Mika and I grew a little closer. Let's definitely give her a present. The apron dress is a number 22. Yeah, I have one on it. A dress that resembles the maid's uniform. When you wear this, it might seem like you won't be able to identify your master, but in actuality, you'll be the one in Subs control. Subs are the ones in control. I mean... They can be? <laughs> well, they are, 100% of the time. Uh, okay. Because the sub controls whether, like, for the most part, whether what's happening, when it stops, when it starts. In a healthy situation, in yes. In any situation. If it's not, then you should not be in that situation. Exactly. So in a healthy situation, you're absolutely correct. Healthy situation. Is it really okay for me to receive such a wonderful light up? Um, other than dying, I can pretty much do anything. Please order me around whenever you want. Put on that dress and we'll get to it. Okay. Um, about before. It doesn't really matter. I'm sorry I had a weird attitude, too. I'm sorry. You, you didn't do anything wrong. It was my fault. That's definitely it. Well, I'm trying to say it was my fault, so... Hajime, <laughs> you look pale. Huh? Really? Yes, your blood circulation looks worse than usual. Have you been eating breakfast? Have you been getting enough sleep? I was with you when I ate breakfast, and no, I've, I slept terribly. Well, I've been eating somewhat, but I guess I'm not getting enough sleep. You can't help it since we're in this situation. But try to avoid consuming any stimulants before you sleep. Take deep breaths and do some light stretching. <laughs> Little things like that should help with the quality of your sleep. If you don't get enough sleep, it can weaken your immune system and lead to various illnesses. So please be careful. Also... Um, is something the matter? No, I'm just a little surprised. Uh, I forgot to get a hold of myself again. Uh, I'm sorry. You're wrong, you're amazing. As expected, the ultimate nurse. Give her a hug. What's what's the hug button? Um. But I think you have an amazing talent for helping people. I mean, every, even now, you noticed right away that I wasn't feeling well, right? So thank you for caring about me. So you like being a dog. Got it. <laughs> I thought I was slowly starting to understand Mekon little by little, but I guess I was completely wrong. <laughs> I know 
I'm really good at imitating a sea turtle when she's about to lay eggs. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. No, you really don't have to do that. Yeah? Why? Um, if you don't feel well, I'll take care of you with all my might. No, I'm fine. In fact, I'm feeling really energetic all of a sudden. Uh, really? That's great to hear. If I show her any weakness, it'll be the end of me. I kept talking to Mekon and avoided talking about illnesses. I was exhausted when I got back to my room. Dong, bing, bing, bong. bong. Bing, bong, 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 bing, bong, bong. Ahem. It is please return to your room now, Ben. Good night, he says. Whatever, I have a party to attend. All right, time to go to the old building by the hotel. There's nothing I have to be concerned about for with talking to people. Uh, no, I don't think so. You can talk to them if you want. Oh my my! <gasps> oh, are you also here for the party? Why else would I be here? Anyway, what else? What are you doing in a place like this? I'm doing a little exercise so I can enjoy all the yummy food we're gonna eat. I'm excited to eat Terra Terra's cooking. Yeah, especially since he's the ultimate cook. Hey, Mekon. Party. I'm really excited. Um, I'll try to do my best to not be in the way, so it's fine if I stay here, right? Are you really that worried about something like that? Yes! I let Fuhiko know about the party, but he didn't look too pleased about it. You could probably just go walk around to get your pet to the thing real quick. Uh, yeah, I don't need okay. to. It's fine. Old building hallway. So this is the old building. Compared to the hotel, it's definitely looks worse for wear. You're here. Now then, stand up straight and raise your arms. Why do I have to do that? Hmm. Because I need to do a body check. Body check? Since I'm the one hosting the party, it's necessary for me to take all possible security measures. Listen. I've already promised that I will not allow even one person to become a victim. Uh, I get it. So I reluctantly raised my arms and stood up straight. Byakion went ahead and thoroughly searched me, starting with my legs and working his I way see. up. It appears you haven't brought anything dangerous. Of course I haven't. That's fine. Very well, I shall allow you to enter. Hmm? It was at that moment I noticed a strange item near where Byakion was standing. Metal cases? What? Duralumen. Duralumen. Duralumen? Duralumen. I read the R as an L, so I went Duralumen. Du -da -du -da. Duralumen. <laughs> Actually, I found them at the supermarket. This one is used to store any dangerous items I find during body checks. The other one is for, uh... Well, let's just say it's for emergencies only. What do you mean by emergencies? Stop talking. Don't worry about it. The others are already here, gathered at the dining hall in the back. Go there and wait. As soon as he said that, Bianca turned his back to me. I guess that's the end of our talk, but he's so cautious I didn't expect him to perform body check. What do you mean by emergencies only? Okay, so if you can walk around. Do that. Uh, do me a favor. Look around, but don't go to the dining hall. Okay. Um, office? Old building office. Huh. It... Hmm. 
There you go. Alright, that's number four. <laughs> I've been <laughs> found. Yeah, you have been found. I'm just looking over like, oh, this this is like, you know, the tatami not tatami, uh rice paper walls? Yeah. Looks tatami's like the flooring that they use in like the traditional Japanese yes. floors. Not this one, I don't think, but No, not here. Um I'm looking over here, I'm like, this is more western style. Oh. <laughs> that would explain what you want me to look at. Uh, I mean, I can take a look at this. Is this the desk the staff used for busy work? Looks like it's dusty. It's better if I don't touch it. More importantly, I should hurry over to the dining room. Well, this place will probably be important later. The bathroom appears to be unisex. I don't need to go now. I should hurry over to the dining hall. Is there anything else to do in here? Uh, not really, I don't think. Ekamaru. There's the tantalizing aroma wafting from the kitchen. Jeez. However, Byakuya will yell at me if I don't go straight to the dining hall. You should head over there as well. <laughs> ah, Hachime, how do you like it? What do you mean? See, I decorated the whole dining hall for the party. I even laid out the carpet, too. Really? Even the carpet? Yep. Yep, I brought it from the supermarket. That place sure does seem to have everything. I actually wanted to cover the whole floor, but I guess the carpet wasn't big enough. There was a lot of dust and cobwebs over the place, too. It took me all day to clean the dining hall just because of that. I guess there's no way I could handle being stuck cleaning the whole day. You're commendable, Nagito. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Bitch, she me out earlier, so let's talk to her. Hmm. This old place sure has run down. I feel bad Nagito went to all this trouble cleaning it. Even cleaning has its limits. See, check out the floorboards. Maybe the wood shrink because of deterioration, but don't these openings seem dangerous to you? You're right. Well, the carpet is spread out enough to cover most of the floor, so I guess it won't be that big a deal. Hey. But it might be best to tell Mikan to be careful. Yeah, she is the type to trip over nothing. Hey, Jackie. I'm worried about Monokuma showing up. If he finds out we're having a party, there's no way he'll leave us alone. So... We gotta do something about it. You're right, we should do something. I wonder if someone can do something about it. I wonder. I wonder. So we're on the same page then? I'm not sure I understand. Apparently. Mm. <sighs> hey, what's up? Pointless, she's completely focused on the food. Good oh, even though the man is a lowly warm, it appears his cooking skills are most impressive indeed. Nevertheless, even his food cannot stand against the gourmet cuisine of the multiverse. Uh. Man, that was so uncomfortable. Getting groped so thoroughly by a man, that was my worst nightmare. Oh, you need the body check. Annoying. Plus, he's got the super piss and started yelling at me when he knows how to wrench with me. Seriously, how freaking annoying. It's your fault for having a wrench in the first place. Man. I just happened to find it at the airport. Carrying it around calms me down. But Yaka would put it in the Dural Min case of oh, his. man. <laughs> Even though it took me the entire day just to clean this hall, I'm glad everyone's so happy. Creep Yakia rubbed his ham hands all over me and called it a body check. More like sexual harassment. That's not what it was. He did the same thing to us guys, too. So, I feel like he was getting frisky while he was frisking me. Eh? I'm pretty in demand, you know. You're just kidding. You're a fucking creep. There are a lot of fancy foot. Looking party dishes on the tables towards the floor. God, they look so good. I want them. Oh, fuck. I'm hungry. 
Since you look serious, look at party dishes. Yo, look at those bananas! They're a lot of tasty looking party dishes. Meat, fish, it's all there. I want it. Iron plates? It reminds me, I saw some similar looking iron plates in the hallway too. But why are there iron plates bolted on the walls? Oh, it's not what it appears to be. Eh? Stay back. One of my four Davis, Supernova, Silver Fox, and D has seen what lies around amidst the darkness. Though that iron pipe appears to be bolted to the wall, it's actually bolted over what's known as the window. Window? Let me tell you. There are no windows in this dining hall at all. I assume those iron plates are covering them. But why are iron plates covering the windows? The night is my domain. Mm, Sandy, it appears your fur is rustling more than usual today. Hey, why are iron plates covering the windows? Let's make history. Such a fine day. Countless lives gasp their last breath, and countless more go the way of all of the flesh. Yes, he doesn't know? Well, this building's in the middle of a renovation, so I guess that might have something to do with it, but this place sure is a creepy atmosphere because of that. Suddenly, so heard the voice of the old man, affluent pro pro protagonist. <laughs> I think it's a joke. What? <laughs> through the dining hall. I was like, wait, have I been reading it wrong this entire time? <laughs> it's progeny. It's, it's definitely wait. progeny. Thank you for waiting. Terra Terra's in the kitchen, and it appears Fuhiko did not come. I apologize. I apologize. I did inform him about the party, but... Jeez. It's not like you need to apologize, Pekko. It's his fault for not coming. I explicitly stated the attendance was mandatory, but it's fine. If just one person is absent, that shouldn't pose a problem. He won't be able to do anything. Mm. Oh, I was expecting that to be... Never mind. What do you mean by that? What? More importantly, hmm? Come on. Hey, what is that? An intense expression spread across Bianca's face as he looked at the table with various food dishes, and I'm assuming he's talking about thick box. Not possible. Dangerous. As he stomped his way towards the table. Hey, what are you doing? Not gonna lie, I could really go for some meat right now. No, I'm not. I don't care what you say, you're totally pigging out. I'm telling you, I'm not. Look carefully at this dish. It looks like delicious roasted meat. And just what is stabbed into this roasted meat? It's an iron skewer. That's right. This iron skewer is definitely a dangerous item. I must take full responsibility and collect it. You could have just pulled out the iron skewers. Hello there. Hey, look how everyone's here. I should go ahead and bring out the rest of the... Huh? Oh. It's a messy to ruin my arrangement! <laughs> Who made this so dish? Do Who do you think, Biakia? Um... That would be me, but, um, are you a food critic? What are you thinking? What are you plotting? Cooking with such dangerous items. No, 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 no. Dangerous? That's, that's churrasco! It's a South American meal where you stab meat with an iron skewer to cook it! It felt really... Tropical and exotic, so I thought it'd be totally fit the party's atmosphere. <laughs> These iron skewers are a problem. Why? Iron skewers aren't allowed either? If that's how you're acting, then there might be more skewers than just these. Let's go. Hey, Hajime, come with me. I need your help. Why me? Man. It's your fault for standing right in front of him. My condolences. Yakia's face bore an intense expression as it reluctantly followed him out of the dining hall. Let's go. Alright, this is the kitchen. We have to thoroughly inspect it to make sure there are no dangerous items such as knives in a kitchen. Thoroughly, huh? Bianca stomped in the kitchen, I followed after him. Let's get on with it then. Search this place thoroughly. As he issued the order, Biakia began searching the whole kitchen from one end to the other. Hmm. Look, I found these. These forks and knives are on that shelf. Don't tell me those two. Naturally. They are definitely dangerous items. If you're in eating, chopsticks are enough. After he said that, Biakia threw the forks and knives into the Duralumen case, one after the other. You're being very thorough about this. 
splinter to the row. These appear to be various types of knives, but these... What? Out of the question, knives are far too dangerous. What do you expect him to cook? Hand them over to me, I'll safeguard them. Maybe I can grab the knife from my hand and throw it into the dirty woman case with the rest. Of course. Um... What? I'm walking around. Says, Chinese, Japanese, French, and Italian cuisine, seafood dishes too. There's even a huge piece of meat on the bone. That Teratero, he sure got fired up. I don't even know if I'd be able to eat that much food. See. Seems there are no dangerous items. Like that skewer in the churrasco earlier inside that pile of food. That appears to be the case. Well, I wouldn't have known what to do if he said fish bones and meat bones were also dangerous items. And this paper is... I see, it appears to be an equipment list for the kitchen. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers, 3 frying pans, 20 wine glasses. There are also iron plates for a barbecue and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. Hmm. Iron plates and a portable stove, I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. This kitchen seems to be well kept, there should be no problem using it. Though the building is though the building's old, the kitchen is impressive. Compared to a normal restaurant, it's not too shabby. Very strange. But it's strange, one of the items on this list seems to be short by one. I don't know about the forks and knives and spoons. Iron skewers, five, three frying pans, they're also iron plate for hmm. I think you just talked to them. Yeah, I'm just thinking in my head. There. Is it necessary to go this far? Make me I'm doing this because it's necessary. If I'm to fulfill the promise I made to not let anyone become a victim, I must be extra vigilant. Really, is that all? What? What do you mean? Well, I'm just assuming, but I think I have something must have happened to you. After all, you decided to throw a party so suddenly, I can't help but think there's a reason for that. Hmm. That's not it. I've been a distrustful person for as long as I can remember. Distrustful person? I don't really like to talk about my past, but it's fine if I'll tell you just a little bit of it. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Yakion has a past he can't talk about? Hmm. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn, for a long time my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable, but that would end up this way. <laughs> but in this kind of situation, my skeptical nature might be of good use. If we're to survive here, skepticism is necessary at all costs. By the way, the past you mentioned That's enough. Now is not the time. However, one day there will definitely be a time when I will be able to tell you about it. Hmm. If nothing happens and time passes for us to talk for us peacefully, I'll have no choice but to talk. That sounded pretty deep. I feel like it turning like things are even more experienced but fuck. I feel like things are even more mysterious now because he hasn't told me the whole story. This guy might have a deep mystery hidden within him, deeper than I thought he'd have. That's silly talk. Hey, enough with the unnecessary banter. We'd better hurry and find the rest of those dangerous items. Yeah, got it. Even so, he w works so hard. There's probably more in line with his actual personality, I bet. Huh? Why? The kitchen's a mess! What happened here? Stop talking. Don't raise your annoying voice. I just removed all the dangerous items. Huh? Other than knives or forks, why? How come? Don't make me repeat myself. I literally just said that I removed all the dangerous items. You're kidding, right? Don't tell me you're treating cooking utensils like dangerous items. No, 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 no. Well, most of the dishes are finished. All I gotta do is arrange the place, so it's not a problem, but... But, but still! Well, yeah. oh, Jimei! Stop it, get off me! Eh? And none is that, that sort of thing? Well, that's a little depressing. Trust me, I'm the one who's depressed here. Hey, before you start getting all flirty, explain this. 
I checked the equipment list, and there seems to be one iron skewer missing. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's right. As far as I know, there's been one missing from the start. No matter how clean this place gets, stuff is still bound to go missing in an old building, right? If it's been missing all along, we can't really do anything about it, right? <laughs> You're right. This, there's no place to hide such a long skewer anyway. Very well, all I need to do is keep a watchful eye. Don't tell me you plan to keep a watchful eye all night long. Let's go. Alright, let's go back. The other students should be waiting for us. You too, Teru Teru. Come to the dining hall for now. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Jeez, he's such a pushy leader. Ah, they're finally back. Hey, hey! Let's eat already. I'm starving. Hmm. There's still an issue we need to address first. Yes. An issue? Right. Who do I gotta beat the crap out of? Just say the word, I'll do it for ya. That's enough. That won't be necessary. The issue is where the safeguard this durable case that has all the confiscating dangerous items. Huh? Can't we just leave it here? Hmm. I've already put a lock on the case, so it shouldn't be a problem, but we should definitely up the security and keep it someplace safe. Um, someplace safe? Oh, there is a storage room at the back of this old building. I see. A storage room, huh? Even so, we can't leave the case alone in there. Then, then someone should guard it. That would keep it safe, yes? Ah, oh, who, who? I'll do it, of course. Are you sure? I guess if you insist. Just kidding. Aww. But it'll be lonely for you by yourself. I don't mind. I am not really that good in situations where I have to be around a lot of people anyway. <laughs> mm, if I wrote a song about this, the title would definitely be Lonely Girl in the Storage Room. However... However, Teru Teru has gone to the trouble of cooking. Is it alright for me to bring some of it with me? Okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. But, but if you're gonna do guard duty anyway, it might be better if you avoid the storage room. Eh, yeah, why is that? Well, not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see in there and full of cobwebs. And also, I was so busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't even have time to clean the storage room. If you stayed in there too long, I think it might be bad for your health. I see. In that case, why don't you guard it in the office? Hmm, yeah, it's almost like I called that one. If I recall correctly, there's also a circuit breaker in there too. It'd be a good idea to guard that as well. Yep. Yeah, the office sounds nice. I'm pretty sure it's not that dirty either. Understood. So I need to be on guard duty at the office. Then I should get going. Have fun tonight, everyone. Talking with her, the, wait, taking with her the dual, yeah, sorry, yawns. Taking with her the dual woman in case and a plate filled with a pile of food, her Pekko left the I dining see, hall. I see, I see. Seeing Pekko's back as she walks away makes me feel like she's got this super cool melancholy vibe. And if she ends up as a corpse in 30 minutes, I'm gonna be pissed. Huh? But shouldn't she have taken the other case with her too? This... no, this case is fine. That's weird. Ah, no fair! You're like the one who got to bring... You're like the only one who got to bring their own stuff! Naturally. When you're as special as me, you get special privileges. <laughs> when you put it that way, it's hard to argue with you. Listen. The journal in case stays with me at all times. I've put the key to the other case in here as well. I'll take full responsibility for watching over it. There's no way I can let anyone else handle this matter. <sighs> More importantly, we're all done now, right? Let's just start the party. No, there's still more. Oh, what do you, who do you want me to beat the crap out of? Hurry up and tell me already. Seriously, this has nothing to do with that. Hmm. Actually, if you're volunteering, I do have one particular nuisance in mind. Huh? Are you talking about... That's right. Monokuma, of course. He's the only he's the one thing that could obviously disrupt the party. All oh, right. So you let me eat if I beat the crap out of Monokuma, right? Hold on. Wait a sec. If you actually pick a fight with that thing, you're just gonna end up per 
perforated. Are you telling me to wait till I starve to death? Hey, starve to death? That's a little extreme. <laughs> our opponent is not someone we can just fight. Rather, it's better if we use our heads and think of a plan. Hey, hey, I'll do something about it. What? Do something. You? Hey, hey! Hey now, what can a girl like you do? You're just gonna put yourself in danger. Nope. I won't. It's not like I'll personally do something. You won't? <laughs> do you intend to use, utilize Monami? Yep. Yeah, if I can talk her into helping us, she might be able to keep Monokuma at bay. At least that's what I think. Ah, that's probably a good idea. She looks like the type that's easily manipulated. Oh. Plus, Monami and Monokuma totally have a rivalry going on. <laughs> well, it's a pretty one-sided rivalry. Are you okay? Are we really be okay, Chiaki? I still think it's dangerous. It's gonna be fine. I'll be fine. If things get dangerous, I'll just run away as fast as I can. Well then, I'll be going now. It's not like I have a bad feeling about this, but something feels off. So it's settled, right? Then can we... <laughs> You're right. Let's begin. Alright! Fine. <laughs> so the banquet has finally commenced. <laughs> you better keep me entertained! And with that, the party started. Now that I think about it, I still don't understand why we're even having a party in the first place. But whatever the reason, everyone seems to be having okay. fun. Are we good? Can I finally eat? You're already eating! <laughs> I, I can't stop! <laughs> I can't stop my hands from shoving food in my face! There's a lot of these CG scenes. Well, of course you can't stop. These are the world's tastiest party dishes, after all. No matter how full you feel, you can't help but continue eating such exquisite delicacies. That is what I cook, the world's tastiest dishes. That's mm, rather buggers. scary. You're not eating? Then I'm gonna eat all this by myself. I'll make lots more in the kitchen, and then I'll bring it all out here, okay? It looks so good. How? Hey, how are you doing cooking? While we're at it, why don't I take pictures for you guys? Wow, that sounds wonderful. Please do. It looks so good. I'm so hungry. This feels weird. When I first came to this island, watching everyone have fun was so frustrating. But now it feels reassuring. We're actually friends who fight together. It's friends who've developed a sense of unity. And that's what Biaki Alwin was going for. Nekomaru, did something happen? Party's just started, but I must return to my cottage. Come on. Don't be foolish. I won't allow such selfish actions. Don't stop me. Biakia, there comes a time when a man knows he's got to go. If I don't go now, it would shame me as a man. Sure. Shitting my pants would totally shame me as a man. So he was talking about going to the toilet. What? If you need to use the bathroom, there's one in this old building. Why do you need to go back to your cottage? I've tried to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. What? What is this blasphemy? <laughs> what now? Impossible! My hellhound earring has disappeared. Did it vanish into subspace? Calm down, you probably just dropped it somewhere. Sure. Oh shit, I'm gonna shit! Quiet. Shut up, don't you dare. <laughs> Hey, is it alright if I eat all this? What did you say? Don't what, don't be an idiot. Don't make sure you leave some for me. Come on! Hey, Biakia, everyone come on, I'm gonna take a picture. Say cheese! <laughs> hey, why can't you act a little why can't you all act a little more mature? Beep beep. What? Huh? What was that sound just now? Huh? It's dark all of a sudden? Who's missing from this room? Um... 
Chiaki's out front. Ter- Fihiko's not here. Yeah. Pekko's in the office, and Terra Terra's in the kitchen. I think that's it. Okay. Those are the only four that we know were not in here. Yeah. Well, oh, wait. Did you say Malfi? Yeah, Fihiko. Yeah, okay. Wanted to be sure. Um, so four. So we know four of them are four of them are major suspects for what's about to happen because the power just went out, which means that Peku 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 Peku. Please don't die. I like you. <gasps> it's a blackout. Blackout. A blackout. I can't see anything. In an instant, as we stumbled around the darkness, our fear swallowed us up like a flood. It's, it's black. The sounds of screams and frantic footsteps ring throughout the dark dining hall, and we were immediately swallowed up by another sound. Everyone, calm down! We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? Because the windows were entirely covered, the blackout swung us up with complete darkness. Complete darkness, therefore, no matter how long I wait, there's no way my eyes will just. This is. Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W- wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Within the darkness, we fervently waited to be released from our fear. We anxiously waited, and after a while, it finally... Zap. Ah. Where's Priyakia? I mean, there's a few people that, that aren't on when... right now. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying him specifically because he's huge. Rude. A shocking scene unfolded before our eyes. <gasps> that is... Because the parents have been compromised. Oh, I'm sorry! I hit again! How? Seriously? How do you trip and land like that? Yay! An erotic pose! That's obviously a fan service moment! There's no way I can do that. Thank you. <laughs> Please forgive me. Just forgive me already. Everyone, I think it would be best if we help her already. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry for all this trouble. So sorry. Hey. Yeah, from now on, just be careful. Oh, I'm glad the lights are back on here, too. Yay! So you were the one who fixed the breaker, Kazuichi? You were unusually useful this time. Hey. Oh, no, I couldn't find my way to the office of the circuit breaker. Huh? Eh? Then why are the lights back on? <laughs> who knows? What? Don't who are knows you me? You're so useless. Oh, it's not my fault, you know? There's no way I could have found my way to the office in the darkness. Sonia, did something happen? Uh, no. Byakuya is missing. Did he go somewhere? Huh? Eh? Byakuya? We immediately looked around the dining hall, sure enough. Byakuya, who promised he would lead us in a situation like this, was nowhere to be found. Huh? That's weird. He was here earlier, right? Um, did he run off somewhere during the blackout? In that pitch blackness? Hey. I'm a little worried about him. We should split up and go look for him. I look inside the storage room, so can I ask you to check the entrance, Hachime? Yeah, I got it. For now. Then I guess I'll go look into the office. Then I shall go look around the hallway. Okay, the hallway's already been covered. We're gonna be going- whatever, sure. Thanks, Sonya. Oh, wait here since I'm kinda in the middle of eating anyway. She's still gonna eat while this is going on. Mm, I must 
bathroom. I must map man up and check the bathroom. I don't understand this man up thing. Jeez, Mr. Hamhands ran away just because there was an itty bitty blackout? He's such a shameful leader. If I find him, I'm gonna finger flick him in the face as punishment. Even so, where did Byakion go? Um, I believe I had to check the entrance. I'm pretty sure Chiaki was there. Guys, next time on Let's Play Danganronpa 2. Goodbye, Despair? Yes. Goodbye, yeah, goodbye, Despair. I always get that messed up. I was not expecting this scene to last quite as long as it did. I had a little timer going to show off uh, time and everything. We were at the 34 minute mark before all this happened. We're not the hour and four minute mark. It was 30 yeah. minutes. Yeah, since we entered this building. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Next time, we walk down this hallway and see if there's anything there. Goodbye. You just concerned for everyone. You little worry wart. Uh, pretty much, pretty much specifically those two people because I didn't figure it'd be Terror Terror who would die, and I figured it would either be Pecco, who you know was sitting in there, or Bianchi. Uh, since the moment he, the moment the light came on, I noticed he was missing. I went, oh no. He's making things go too smoothly, so of course you want to be eliminated first. Do you want to like do your pet real quick? Because I want you to see what pet you get. There it is. All right, it's in its cocoon form, though. After this, you'll only need, I think, five more. What? Pets. I mean, like different kinds of pets. Oh, so there's like eight pets uh, or something. One, two, three, four, five, six. So three. Okay, so yeah. only three more. Okay, you said six before, and I went, oh, she must have meant total, not, like, like yeah. six more, not six total. No, you meant six total, okay. So we still have Monokuma. Oh. Thing happened. <sighs> you... <laughs> it's a shitty this me! This pet is shit. SHIT! So I've gotten all of these. I didn't get Monokuma though. And I didn't get the other two that we're gonna get, but. 